Jean Revolt's exploration of Florida and his encounters with the Indians, though well-intentioned, led to the Spanish massacre of not only himself and the survivors of his shipwreck fleet, but also the entire colony of Fort Caroline. Jean Revolt was born in 1520 in Dieppe, France. He joined the French Navy under the command of Admiral Gaspard de Coligny. Revolt was a Protestant. French Protestants were called Huguenots. In early 1562, the Admiral of France convinced Queen Mother Catherine de Medici to fund a colony expedition to La Florida. Mid-16th century France wanted to claim the New World for more wealth and commerce, and they wanted a place of refuge for Huguenots. John Revolt was chosen to lead the expedition. The expedition had around 150 men and departed France on February 18, 1562. When Revolt and other Huguenots arrived in Florida, they gave thanks to the God for their safe arrival. That was the first Protestant prayer said within what would become the United States. Revolt named the present-day St. John's River the River of May because he discovered it on May 1st. He placed a column on the south bank of the river to claim the land for France. It appeared that the native Indians had made a god of Revolt, and the column he had placed had become their idol. The native Indians that Jean Revolt encountered were the Timucua Indians. They decorated themselves with paint and tattoos and wore bone hairpins and shell and bone ornaments. Timucua clothing was made from animal hides and plant fibers, including cloth made from Spanish moss. Their palm thatched buildings served as places to lodge guests and to meet visiting officials, including Europeans. Before leaving the River of May River Valley, John Revolt inspected a 70 foot bluff now called the St. John's Bluff, as a possible site for a colony. He then sailed north to explore what is now South Carolina. Jean Revolt and his second-in-command, René Lagnier, returned to France from the expedition to find it engulfed in a civil war and were unable to return to Florida with supplies. Revolt fled to England and Queen Elizabeth locked Revolt in the Tower of London in England. Two years after Jean Revolt's initial expedition, René de Lagnier set sail from France and returned to the River of May, accompanied by nearly 300 people. They established Fort Caroline in June of 1564. Fort Caroline was named La Caroline in honor of the French King Charles IX. It was a triangular fort constructed of timber and earthen banks. The Fort Caroline colonists had learned to barter with the Timucuan Indians, and with the French at their mercy, the Indians traveled great distances to strike hard bargains. The colonists traded with the Indians for fish and acorns, However, the colony soon began to struggle. In 1565, a free Jean Revolt led a fleet of seven ships to bring supplies that would help support the struggling Huguenot colony of Fort Caroline. The Spanish were alarmed and angered by the French colony at Fort Caroline and quickly founded St. Augustine close by to prepare for an attack on the French. The Spanish sent Pedro Menendez to La Florida once they heard news of Jean Revolt's return expedition. Pedro Menendez was King Philip II of Spain's most important naval officer. He arrived in Florida with a fleet of five ships and 800 men. When he arrived, Jean Revolt's anchored ships were undermanned because most men were ashore. Since they were outnumbered, the men on board cut the anchors and escaped the Spanish fleet. When the escaped ships returned to Fort Caroline, they reported their sighting of Menendez camp. With the information, Jean Revolt decided to attack. They set sail for St. Augustine on September 10th. Revolt's fleet had 600 soldiers and sailors. Revolt's fleet was made up of seven ships. Three of those ships were smaller than 100 tons, and the other four were larger. One of the smaller ships, named La Pearl, was commanded by Revolt's son Jacques. Another small ship, La Levrier, was commanded by Laudonier. The four larger ships were La Trinta, La Marion, a second La Marion, and another unknown ship. The fleet entered the River of May and planned on striking first by sailing their four largest ships. Revolt's plan failed when a hurricane came and pushed his fleet of ships farther south, scattering and wrecking them. He and most of his men were thrown onto a beach near present-day Daytona Beach. He and the survivors marched north in an attempt to reach Fort Caroline. Native Indians brought news of the shipwrecked survivors to Pedro Menendez. He then led 50 soldiers to the inlet where they were stuck to capture them. Jean Revolt was among those captured. He surrendered believing his men would be fed and treated well.
unfortunately, under the orders of King Philip II of Spain, prisoners who were not professing Catholics were killed. Menendez spared the Catholics, artisans, and musicians, and sent them to St. Augustine. Other wreck survivors were killed by being run through with a pile, sword, and dagger. This included Jean Rebol. After the executions, the inlet at which the killings occurred was named Matanzas, which is Spanish for massacres. According to some early accounts, Rebolt's beard and a piece of his skin were sent to King Philip II. With Jean Rebolt dead, Fort Caroline was vulnerable to attack, and the Spanish marched through wind and rain to wipe out the colony. By 1595, the Timucuan Indians on the north side of the river in the vicinity of St. Augustine had mostly ceased to exist due to the European presence and the related disease-borne epidemics. In the early 1970s, a beach at Canaveral National Seashore provided proof that Rebolt's shipwreck men had been there. This led them to believe that the ships may be nearby. One theory explaining why the ships have never been found is that they were driven aground and broken into pieces by crashing surf. This rivalry has helped shape Florida. Forts such as St. Augustine and Fort Matanzas are still standing and are able to teach people about history. Fort Caroline has since been demolished, but people have created a replica where you can go and learn how Fort Caroline was important. All of these forts, which were involved in revolt exploration, teach us about history and how it shaped Florida.